Magic of Math here, and today we're going to be talking about probability as we describe outcomes. Here is our question today. We have a spinner that is divided into eight congruent sections and labeled as shown right here to the right. Aaron will spin the arrow on the spinner once. For each outcome listed in the table, select whether the outcome is likely, unlikely, or neither unlikely nor likely. And you're given four outcomes to look for. So go ahead and pause the video now and determine if these outcomes are likely, unlikely, neither unlikely nor likely. Good luck. Welcome back. So again, we have a spinner with a spin and we're gonna spin the arrow on the spinner one time. And then we're going to determine if it's likely outcome, unlikely, or neither unlikely nor likely. So let's begin by looking at our first expected outcome. We're asked about a number less than two when we spin our spinner once. So when we look at that, we can identify on our spinner that we have one of the eight sections that is a number less than two. So that means when we spin this spinner, we have a one in eight chance of getting a number less than two because only one of the eight sections is that. So when we look at our answer choices, we can see that that is an unlikely expectation because there's eight possible outcomes and only one of those eight is a number less than two. So we're gonna say unlikely. All right, let's move on to the second expected outcome, a number greater than one. So when we look at our spinner and we see our number one and we consider all the numbers that are greater than one, we can see that seven of our sections on our spinner are greater than one. So that means that when we look at our probability, seven out of our eight congruent sections on our spinner are that expected outcome so we can see we have a seven out of eight chance of having this outcome come true, which means it's likely to happen. All right, third one, odd number. Spinning an odd number is our expected outcome. When we look at our spinner, we're gonna identify all the odd sections. We have one, three, five, and seven. So we can see that we have one, two, three, four, of our sections, so four of our eight sections are an odd number. So we can see that four over eight, that's half of them. So we can say that it's neither unlikely nor likely, it's half of them. So it could go either way. Now we have an expected outcome of a multiple of two. So a multiple of two is all the factors, any number that has a factor of two. So let's see, two, times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, and we've com completed our options here on our spinner. So we can see that a multiple of two is really just an even number. So we have two, four, six, and eight, none of these other factors, one, three, five, and seven are not divisible by two, so therefore they're not a multiple of two. So we can see we have four of our eight sections again, that are a multiple of two, giving us again that 50-50 chance. It's neither likely or unlikely, so that's the box we're gonna pick. So here you have it. A number less than two is unlikely because it's a one in eight chance. A number greater than one is likely because all but one is a possible outcome, seven out of eight. And then an odd number and a multiple of two are both 50-50, so they are neither, neither unlikely nor likely. And that is how we describe probability as we spin a eight section spinner. So I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.